Okay, arithmetic sequences can be described also by writing an algebraic expression. <coughs> so, let's see, excuse me. So let's see, can we take a look at um, what are we talking about and see how simple or how rough this can be. We want to write an expression that can be used to find the nth term of the sequence. This means any number in the sequence and we want to do so without adding uh, singular. So we want to look at the sequence 4, 8, 12, and 16 and then we want to write the next three numbers. Well the very first thing I think we should try to do is use a table okay so number one let's use a table to examine let's use a table to examine the sequence have all right so we want to create a little table so let's call it term number n so let's see term number let's go ahead and put n in parentheses here and then the actual term itself. Alright, so here we go. Let's go with 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the term numbers. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then the terms themselves are 4, 8, 12, and 16. Right, a little bit. So let me go ahead and put up some kind of little table here. So we, since we said we were going to do that, so okay. yeah, not bad. To draw this out, let's connect this. All the patients in the world uh, to draw. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go on and just, let's just we out here. Let's just get out of here. All right, All right here's our little table. Now, what we want to do is we need to see what is going on and we want to see what is going on both with our turn number and our turn so as you can see that when we go from one to two we're adding one we go from two to three we're adding one and we go from three to four we're adding one all right that makes a lot of sense there. Now we'll, we'll, we'll cover that in just a second here. Now, once we go from 4 to 8, that is plus 4. 8 to 12 is plus 4. And 12 to 16 is plus 4. Now, what is this telling us? It's telling us that the term has a common difference.
and that common difference is 4. So it has a common difference, and the common difference is 4. Okay, so it has a common difference and a common difference. All right, so also each term is four times the number. Now that's very important right here. Each term is four times the number. What are we talking about? Well, this is one. This is term number one. Four times one is four. This is term two. Four times two is eight. This is term three. Four times three is twelve. This is term four. And four times four is sixteen. So since we know this little bit of information right here, we can say that an expression that can be used to find the nth term is 4n. So we can say that an expression that can be used to find the nth term That means any term is 4n, which simply just means 4 times n. All right? So now, instead of adding the find, to find the next three terms, we will just substitute those term numbers in for n. So to find the next three terms, we just substitute. We substitute each term number for n. So what we're doing is in our expression, we have, and I think it's about time for me to change these colors. So we have 4n, all right? So we have term number 4. If we want to find term number 5, then we would say is equal to 4 times 5, and 4 times 5 is equal to 20. All right, that's for the fifth term. To find the sixth term, what we will do is have 4 times 6 is equal to 24. And for the seventh term, we could say 4 times 7 which is equal to 28. Okay, so again, once we see what our common difference is and see that these are actually changing, that your term number is actually changing by a constant number, then we can take a look at and see what is the relationship between your term and your term number. And in our case, we saw that the relationship was four times that term number. So then we can create an expression which was four times n of uh, uh, four times any number. And we can come up with the actual um, nth term. All right. Have fun with it.